We're back here with Jim of Four Core Heating, and we've been talking a lot about uh, careers in the HVAC industry. And there's there's a whole bunch of different things you can do from from you know driving to you know clerical work to work in the desk. But there is the whole install and fixing and. This bears the question, Jim, how strong do you have to be? If you're if you're gonna be a technician, what are we talking there? What's that like? How physically demanding is it? Well, yes. I, I've found it, you know, yes and no. I mean, there's times it's physically demanding and there's times it's not. And now it depends. Now, if you go into install, okay, um, it's physically demanding. It's, it's a construction job. It, it'd be like, yeah. Yeah. Uh, renovating a kitchen you know you're going to tear out the old fixtures you're going to tear out the floor and you put in the new well uh hvac install is the same way you know you're going to uh uh you know it's a construction job so you're up and down the stairs you're out to the truck but it's no more than a good workout i mean now you know 100 years ago when the furnaces were big cast iron sections and actually built in the basement you know, it took quite a few guys on that crew and that wasn't, you know, the furnaces today are 33 inches high. They weigh about 75 to 100 pounds. You know, you throw it on a dolly. Back then, you built, they had to build that furnace in the basement and cast iron. We, uh, they may all be gone now, but we had to take some out of basements and you take them apart with a sledgehammer. Okay, and you <laughs> box the cast iron up and you haul out these 100 pound chunks, you know, so it was very physical, but that's not so much the case now because the equipment just isn't the same. And ask the plumbers, they aren't putting in cast iron drain anymore. It's all plastic. So yeah. the industry's come a long way and it's saved our backs, but it's still a job. And I'm talking, you know, uh, install. Now service, it can be physically demanding sometime depending on the job. If you're putting, replacing a compressor on a package rooftop unit, Got to go up the ladder. Everything's got to go up the ladder. The compressor, the uh, torches, the vacuum pump, the refrigerant. You know, so there's up, up and down, and it's carrying. So you have it's, it can be physically demanding. But then also, there may be times where a service, it, you, the the whole thing is a mind game. You're just diagnosing. You're taking information, and. Your, your, your repair is just done with a with a screwdriver and a pair of needle nose pliers. Mm -hmm. You're done. And it was, wasn't was physically exerting at all. Uh, so install is going to be more physically exerting in it. And I find those guys like that. You know, it's, 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 they get up, they get moving, the adrenaline's going, and they see real accomplishment. <clears throat> Servicemen, they like, you know, it's it's not as physical, but they, they like that too. They're more of a diagnostic mind where they want to sit there and be challenged by the puzzle, by the the, the, uh, the challenges that uh, the situation brings. And that's where they derive their gratification from solving that problem. But it's not as physically demanding. So yeah. yes, there is, you know, it's, it's you have to be able to do some physical work, but it's not like digging a ditch. <clears throat> and it's, it's not like the old days when the furnaces had to be built in the basement because you were putting together a thousand pound sections. Now, some things, well, in, like I say, install is where all the work is because you get into it more if you're replacing like a steam boiler, there's just no way to make that light. It's a heavy yeah. job. So uh, it does need its physical activity, but on the main source, it's nothing overly demanding. Hey, you've been doing it for 40 years, Jim, and you're still uh, moving okay. <laughs> I'm still moving, yeah. I you still sure have original equipment too. My knees, my back, everything. Oh, there you moving. go. <laughs> okay. So. Well, hey, Jim, it's been it's been great hearing all these uh, all this in, insight you've had about working in the industry. Uh, and if you're if you're not on their website, head to fourcoreheating.com. A lot of other videos where Jim talks about different aspects of working in the HVAC industry. Real informational. I think you'll enjoy it. Be sure to check it out.